And the federal response to the disaster in Puerto Rico falls short. A top cabinet secretary resigns over misuse of taxpayer funded aircraft and Republicans give up on health care and turn to tax reform. Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price handed in his resignation after the president fumed over Price's misuse of taxpayer funded planes. I was disappointed because I didn't like it cosmetically or otherwise. But the drama surrounding the ninth high-level Trump staff departure was drowned out by desperate pleas from Puerto Rico for help from the federal government following Hurricane Maria. A response the president says has been great. Everybody has said it's amazing the job that we've done in Puerto Rico. We're very proud of it. As far as Puerto Rico is concerned, that's been going, as you know, really well. Not so, says the mayor of San Juan, Carmen Yulin Cruz. It has been too slow. It's been so slow that it's put lives in danger. There's a disconnect between what has been said and the reality. We'll get the real story from Puerto Rico and hear from Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio. Then it's on to tax reform, as House Speaker Paul Ryan tells us what we can expect from the Republican tax plan. Can you guarantee that every middle class person will get a tax cut once this becomes a bill and then that That's passes. the purpose of doing this. The purpose of this is to get a middle class tax cut. So is that a guarantee? What will the plan do for you? And what do Democrats want? Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer will be here. Plus, CBS newsman Bob Schieffer will join us. His new book, Overload, takes a look at the news deluge in the Trump era. Plus, we'll have plenty of political analysis. It's all coming up on Face the Nation.